Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to put some happy little highlights on our mountain. Now, to load the knife, we, uh, I'm going to use some white, titanium white. There's a little bit of blue in there. I might touch a little bit of red, just a touch. And you pull the paint out very flat and then just cut across and then you get a little roll of paint. A little roll of paint on the end of the knife. So pull it out flat and then cut across. Now, it's always a good idea when you're doing a mountain to paint the highlights on the mountains that are the furthest away. So I've got some little mountains here and I'm just going to lightly, lightly just glide down. It's the, with this technique, you need to hold your knife between your finger and your thumb only. Just your finger and your thumb. Because you don't want to be putting any pressure. You don't, I don't, if you put your finger there, you'll find you put too much pressure on. So it's just your finger and your thumb. And your knife is almost flat for the canvas. Sometimes you'll start, you'll, you'll touch your painting. But if you're doing that, then you're doing it correctly. So you just drag it out, nice and light. And now, something to create distance in your little mountains. I've gone into a little bit of blue and white. This is going to be our shadow colour. So again, you pull it out, cut across, a little roll of paint, and I'll just get rid of that hair. And then you just touch and pull down. There, just, just, just the same, very lightly. Touch and pull down touch and pull down. And then you've got those mountains already in the background, then you can mist them with your brush. Just tap, tap them, tap them and then lift up, lift up lightly. And then using more titanium white, you can start working on this mountain that's a bit, this one's in front. So you want to a good, good roll of paint, and just let it glide. Let let your knife glide down. Go all the way in front of this one. All the way in front, and we'll bring this mountain. Maybe it comes down there. A bit more titanium white, and maybe it's got a, bit of a rounded bit there. Maybe it comes down that bit. Maybe, maybe it's got a bit there. And we can put a little bit. If, when you've got like these little hills or little mountain bits in the background, if you put them in first, and then you put your your shadow colour on afterwards. But always think about angles when you're creating your mountain. Always think about which way the mountain flows, because that's the way you want your highlights and your shadows. But you see how automatically by putting this shadow in front of that one it sends that one back. And then you can you can you can play with this and you can bring this one in front. Maybe these hard to get areas you can use the detail knife. Can, you can really get in, get into the hard, harder areas to get to with that. And I think it's a fantastic knife, the detail knife, very useful to do to do things like that. And then to to clean up your mountain, a bit more titanium white over some of the areas. Maybe you want to strengthen some of the shapes. Maybe you want to get rid of some of these bits just to add, add little bits of detail. There we go. And then at the base of the mountain, if you just tap, just tap, give it a light tap, and then lift up, and then that's a, uh, the mountain complete.